round eight. Three to go, including this one. find out how fit McDonald is tonight. He's expending an awful lot of energy in that ring. Oh, he's in tremendous shape, Dave. I can vouch for his training. He really, he really is a good athlete. Uh, I call him the elastic man. He stretches all sorts of ways. His animal, by contrast, just seems to glide around the ring. This is, this is a real class fight. Full of classy moves and exchanges. Larry Moore dropping his hands. Despite the showboating, he was stung there. Those punches did get through. Oh, that's cheeky. Just a little popping right hander out of nowhere, throwing it off balance. Blood now coming from Larry Moore's mouth. Boxing at a pace you've probably never been pushed at before and having to think things out, boxing the pace upwards in different gears, going through different gears, not boxing under one hour all the time. That's what it's about when you start getting to this boys level. And this is a former Commonwealth champion. Down walk, slow down just a little bit this round. And he's making all this and the blood down on the face. Good right hand there from Elmo. Yeah, McDonald's trying to bleed from the nose now. I definitely think Elmo McDonald's feeling the pace of this fight. It's a good job he's in good shape because this guy is going to push him all the way. He still needs these rounds, Dave. And this is another tough round to score. Guys getting through two in the right hand is not like him. It's very unusual against Daryl McDonald. Daryl just needs to tighten things up a little bit. He's a little bit flat up here. Whichever way Jim Pretty scores it, it's going to be desperately close. We, we may see the, uh, the end of the McDonald run. It's, it's, it's a possibility tonight, Jim. This fight, really, you know, Errol's own come to Nottingham. I'm sure he would like to come back in a more flamboyant style with all the razzmatazz that goes with a good victory. But, you know, at the moment, I'd just like to see Errol get, out, get down to the basics, which he's good at and get just a win under his belt because this fight has been a real learning process for him. I just hope that he comes out with his record intact because it's got us to be close. Well, it's a calculated gamble. A win tonight would have enormous implications for Owen McDonald against a class-ranked opponent. Yeah. Well, nine. Into new territory now for Owen McDonald. He's never been this far in his life and he's treading into the unknown now, really. You know, he's boxed, he's boxed in there, further than he's ever boxed in his career, further than he's ever been his eight rounds. So let's hope that Earl can suck it up from his boots, if you like, and pull out two good rounds and secure a good win. You know, Earl's going to be a champion, he's the kind of guy he's got to get to. That's right. The terrible thing about boxing is the more you win, they never get any easier, they just get a harder. The guy's becoming a little bit flamboyant and flashy. He clearly fancies the job. And I hope that Earl don't get drawn into it, because that, to me, is a little bit of experience, a little bit of kidology on behalf of a former Commonwealth champion. And he probably knows Earl's better when he sticks to basics, and he wants to draw Earl into the flash stuff. And then Earl just sticks to what he's good at, which is classical boxing. Good right hand. 
good left foot as well. And suddenly, Larry Moore looks a little bit tired. This guy takes a good shot. He got hit with a right hand and a left foot then. Still hanging in there. Another right hand. Toe to toe stuff now. He's coming back with good short little shots of his own, Larry Moore. And it's McDonald that's forced to back off. This has been a good little sequence for He's got to keep the pressure on now. This is what he's got to do. Not get involved in the first half. The basics are right. There's another good shot. Turned into a good round for And Larimore is looking tired now. Definitely. He looks very weary. A lot of the snap has gone. And McDonald senses this and comes forward. Errol's got to push the pace on now and just keep rattling in them right hands. But how much has McDonald got left in the tank? That's the question. I think they're both very tired. Ooh, what a right-hander, and Larimore's gone! And he's stopped it! What a finish! That's a fantastic win. What a finish! Errol's over the moon, and rightly so. That is a tremendous win to stop Steve Larimore, former Commonwealth champion. A right hand started the downfall of the former Commonwealth champion. And McDonald's well relieved for that one. And McDonald, once he had his man on the hook, as we can see there, did not let him off. That's what the crowd have come to see, and McDonald has given them what they wanted. Larimore tried to hold, but could not. And a good, good stoppage from Jim Pudding. There's no question Errol McDonald's done with putting that in the right frame. Tonight, Errol McDonald has come of age. Larry Moore's corner unhappy, heaven knows why, because the man was beaten fair and square. I think that's just frustration. Let's join Nick Halling now, who's with McDonald. Many congratulations. The best win of your career. Yeah, the best career. I was a little bit um, out of timing, but I know it'll come later on. Well, it may have been the best win of your career. It was the toughest win of your career as well. I'll say one of the toughest. Yeah, I'll say one of the toughest. It must give you a lot of satisfaction to have stopped that guy, because he was a tough cookie, wasn't he? But first, I was prepared to go to distance. I've been training really hard to go to distance and that. I've been training all different kind of sparring partners and that. And my manager, manager and my trainer prepared me very well for the, this fight. Does it mean a lot to you to be, uh, to be this successful back in your hometown again? Yes, I love it. I'm glad I'm fighting in Nottingham. And it means a lot to me. And I'm glad that all the people come out to come and see me. I'm very proud of it. And your next fight is going to be a title fight. There's talk of it being the WBC international fight. You're looking forward to that one? Yes, I know. I'll fight a lot better the next time. I was a little bit uh, sloppy at times, but I know next time, I know what I've got to sharpen up, and especially with my jab and everything. I know next time, I know I'll be a lot better. So you've learned a few lessons from this contest? Oh yes, definitely. Well, well it's the first time I've even been to nine rounds. And uh, it shows that um, I've still got a lot inside me to bring it out on the ninth round. I was a bit worried in case you um, had him in front, that's why I knew I had to pull it out, um, talk down very low, and wait for him to... He was so hoping so I could catch him with the right hand over the top, which I was catching no end of, after each other. Great. Well, many congratulations, Errol. Thanks very much. Well, we said it could be the fight of the year, and it turned out to be not far short, did it? Errol McDonald, I reckon he had to come from behind, Jim, to win that particular fight. Yeah, the, you know, it's got to have been very, very close. The fight was in the balance. Errol said there himself on the interview that he felt he could have been behind. So, obviously, you know, it's worked out a tremendous win. He showed, as he said, that he's got the strength to come and dig it up from within. And that's champions are made of. So, well done, Errol McDonald. Well, before we...